Colorado Buffaloes are the most talked about team in all of NCAA football. Why? One person, Coach Prime, Deion Sanders being there. They're talking about his son has potential to be in a Heisman winner or candidate. It's going to be interesting. So in this video, we're going to talk about what's the real and true expectations of what's going to happen and I'm putting it out because I know I'm going to be right. So let me give you guys game and we better come back to this throughout the season. All I ask return, do your boy solid. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button that help out the channel. So first thing you have to look at last year. Last year, this team went one and 11. For the people that don't know anything about football or sports or life, one and 11 mean you won eight percent point <laughs> you won, you won point zero eight percent of your games you didn't even win one percent of your games if i was the coach and i never coached in college if you was a coach you never coached in college the only thing you could have done worse is lose one more game you probably would have done better i'm certain i would have won more like this this is bad this is bad they need a change. They flew in Deion Sanders, got him from Jackson State, and they like, look, we need change now. He brought all type of five stars recruits, four star recruits, top players, the right philosophy, NFL players, rappers, Hall of Fame. Everybody's all there, right? What do you believe is a good expectation, a good record for the first year? If you being honest, winning three more games than you did the year before is always a win. Because with NCAA college football, they usually give you two to four years to get all of the players that you personally recruited. You got to think, if you hire me today, I get the recruiting. The recruits come to the school. That's year one. That next year, then by that third year, just about everybody that John Doe recruited will be out. And you have all of your players, all of your systems, coaches, formats. So it takes time. The problem is since Deion Sanders is all over the world and internet and have such a big platform of who he is, everybody's expecting, what well, some people is expecting that he can win right now. It's not going to happen. My expectations is if they go to a bowl game, I believe to go to a bowl game, you have to win six games or you have to be above 500. So let's see if you got to be 500 or better. Um, let's see. Let's just let's just Google um, how many games needed to win for a bowl. For bowl eligibility. Teams become bowl eligibility by one in six or more games. So you got to win six games. All right, I had it right. My expectation, if you win six, he did absolutely great. He won five more games than the previous. That's a win. That mean he's going to have six losses. And every single loss, you're going to have all of racist media, hating media, Deion Sanders haters. You're going to have every blog blowing up because he lost. Let's look at the schedule, and we are going to guess what we believe their record would be. So let me know in the comments what you believe the record would be. First game against TCU, they should get completely dominated. Completely dominated, and they're going to lose that. They should. 0-1, and it's at TCU. Second one is against Nebraska at home. It's their first home game. And you see tickets are as low as $215 to watch your first, first home game. That is crazy. For a team that won one game last year, this year, their first home game is like that prime effect is crazy. That's why I did a video way back then telling everybody how Coach Prime is underpaid because people were saying he's overpaid, he got overpaid. He's the most underpaid <laughs> coach in history. He's the most valuable coach showing, like, he just bring money, right? Against Nebraska first home game, I have this as a loss. So I'm saying 0-2 right here. Their first win, I'm saying, is going to go against Colorado State. Colorado State last year, I don't even have a pull it up. I don't even need to see their record. 
that will be their first win right there, and they will be one and two. Going against Oregon, look at this stretch. Going against Oregon, they're going to lose probably. It's going to be a historic ass whooping. So now we got one and three. USC, one and four. ASU at ASU, I'm counting at a loss. One and five. Stanford. Stanford is not bums, but lately they've been bad. Let's say that we're going to give them a win against Stanford. First, good win. Remember, they're going to be at home. So we had two and six against UCLA at US. Let's, let's let them get a get a strive. We had three and seven against Oregon State. They're going to get whooped on three and eight. Arizona, they're going to lose at Washington. So, uh, I got this as a win, and I got this as a loss. So I got four wins, and what is that? A is it twelve games, eight losses. So I have them going four and twelve. What I originally just said was, if you win three more games than you did the year before, it is a success. But people are gonna say four and twelve. That's terrible. I'm expecting four and twelve record. I'm not going to get emotional about it. That's what I expect. Anything above that, if you go to a bowl game, you you dominate it. You dominate it. I'll tell you guys. I'll show you guys later. Make sure you follow the channel about which bets I will be doing because college football is here. And we have a winning record already. So make sure you guys sign up for the Patreon if y'all want them bets. But with this first TCU game, I think there's still ways we can make some money. So I will probably keep you guys up to date about that. If you're interested, let me know in the comments what y'all thoughts. Let go.